So this is the pre-commission meeting. And um, Terry, I, I sent the agenda straight to Pam and your city clerk and it worked out okay. Can I do that in the future? Is there, do you have any problem with the me? only problem is is that Rich's name, it should be posted on the bottom. Oh, I see. It oh, and that's what you usually add? Yep. So can I just add that from now on? Well, that's entirely up to Rich if he wants to have that done directly by you. It does. It doesn't hurt me. Usually the committee meetings are usually run through, requests for meetings are usually run through the staff department they're attached to. I don't know, I have to think about that. It's, Terry was gone. For yeah, no, no, moment. that's fine. I get that. That's, yeah. that, that's a good good catch on, on your part. Because um, I, I couldn't, I can't, I don't. I left at two. What time did you call? Actually, I called at one. I was say No? Or at oh, all. Yeah, yeah, I left at one. Oh, that's right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm um, okay. Wait. And the other thing that I wanted to, to mention is just that I think we should just get a boilerplate agenda ready every time in case I forget you just send that in okay that's fine that's fine and even if it's not perfect mm -hmm. it's just something yeah. and so, so then that would actually make it a lot easier because then we could just go ahead and post it and then you can if for some reason you forget and we still have a meeting it, posted so and then you can just you can just add things at the exactly. end exactly if you need to or you can just add things yeah yeah I just this has happened way too many times Mm -hmm. that uh, we need to get in front of it. And I think that might be the solution is just have a, have a boilerplate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's, let's for now just use this one as a boilerplate because it's pretty close. Um, anyway, I can work that out with you, but yeah. next time if I forget, this will just be a boilerplate. Change the, the, the date. Okay, well, thank you. All right, so um, no public comment, approval of previous minutes. Mish, Carolyn Mish has a C in it. M I S C H. Second page. Dr. Treeward report. Yeah. Do you have what you need? Oh, yeah. Uh, I need to put that. Just 
Yeah, okay, good. All right, thanks. Um, I don't think it's come Oh, wait, there we go. It's too late. late. But there should be a total, grand total for the smalls. Uh, I think it's, is that what's in oh. blue? Next well, page. oh, I see, there's, yes, there we go. That's, in, yes, okay, good, good, good. All right, um, so now we've got review to-do list. Everyone has just done that. Mm -hmm. Is anyone struggling with a particular item on the to-do list they need to talk about? I'll take that as a mess. Um, chair report. Not much to report except for that Rob and I had a meeting scheduled with Gwen Agna at, at um, Jackson Street School, but it got snowed out. So now Rob or Rich? Step, what did I say? Rob. Rich. Rob, um, you're doing all these Yeah, he gets all the credit. <laughs> I'm just making sure I didn't miss something. Um, and so actually we need to reschedule that. She did not respond to your email, the one you... Yeah, no, 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 no. So I'll okay. be making it to myself. Have you asked Rob, as I suggested, about connection, connecting with them because he worked with Jackson Street? Yes, I think we talked at the we last meeting. School? Jackson Street School. Yeah, so there are people there who are connected to the school. Yeah. We have a way of getting trees. It's all been one there. Rob, yeah. Who was your, just for curiosity, who's the contact person? Like someone on the PTO or something? Or yeah, or? yeah, it's Christopher who works at Berkshire Design. Okay. Our feeling was that we name. wanted to have a, a direct conversation with the principal yeah. because this is about a very specific site and that is those front circles. Mm -hmm. So um, Rich and she and I were just going to sit down with some data. I was going to share some data on um, um, sun exposure to children, mm -hmm. the importance of having shade. Right. Um, so, and, and have it a kind of a little bit of a small scale, non-confrontational, try to, try to win her over on the science and then, and then go from there. Because uh, I, I feel like if we, don't, if we don't get buy-in from her, then, mm -hmm. then we're going nowhere. But yeah. we first need buy-in from yeah, her. Yeah, we need her, we need her definitely buy-in and approval. Right. So yeah. we can kind of overcome any other obstacles potentially that might exist. Potentially. Yeah, potentially. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, he handed it off to the brown staff. And Pretty that's slow. and that's the rub. Yeah. Because he's not invested in the sort of things that no. a, an educator might be. Not at all. So we'll we'll reschedule okay. that. Um, I'll I'll reach out to her again. Um, and then you all saw the email that I sent about the movie that Kestrel Trust is um, screening at. Amor Cinema. That looks really good. Wish I could go. I'm not going to be around. And They're showing it at Hitchcock Center too. Oh, are they? Send um, that information. We could, yeah. yeah, that would be great. Is that um, during, the, I, during the daytime or in the evening? I think the Hitchcock one. I think it's in the evening. I'll okay. double check. Right. And then Jay also sent information about EAB stuff, which I was not able to read thoroughly. It's Did anyone read that thoroughly? Yeah, it, it's, it was, uh, so that's what I'll talk about it now. You'll talk about it Yeah, I'll talk about it in my two okay. yes. um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. And then I will just mention briefly um, my daughter's progress on her laboring project when that's on the agenda. So I think I have no other thing to report for this week. Thank you, Matt. Oh, yeah, yeah, that happened. I feel like we've met since then, but we haven't. No. That's so weird. We met with Rick Harper. You weren't able to make yeah. it. It, was, it went fantastically. Yeah. It was a huge turnout. There were 18 students. Um, we talked to, with them. It was very much a, an exchange for, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. They seemed to love it. They seemed to be really pumped. I uh, read a lot of articles that they could look at. They, they ate up the tree guide. I brought four or five copies, mm -hmm. and, and I wish I had brought 20, because each mm -hmm. one of them wanted one. Um, so I think that went very well, and Rick ended it saying, I hope this becomes an annual thing. Cool. Yeah, and to follow up on that, I, I went to the community tree conference uh, to last week or the week before, and I spoke to Rick, and he was very thankful. Great. And was appreciative and said that was excellent. He said it's 
almost it's nice getting the, kid, the students out of the classroom with a little real world community yeah. um, community tree. You know, to be honest with you, we have we have to figure out our, we have to figure out a name. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to think of exactly what you know. This is the commission. I'm the tree warden. Mm -hmm. We have community input. This is not. This is probably should be talked about later, but it's just driving me crazy because I have to give that presentation of Fall River, mm -hmm. and we need to have a name for our program, mm -hmm. like a name that reflects all of our all, all the input that everyone has at the table and others. And mm -hmm. I don't really, I really know what you know Northampton's Community Tree Program because mm -hmm. I think that's probably emblematic of what it is, but maybe that's not some food for thought. I'll send an yeah. email out yeah. with my mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse okay. me with my thoughts. So. Sounds good. All right, so I'm going to punt this to you, Rich. Okay, so a couple of things. Just want to update you. Uh, the budget. Presently, we have $29,374.00 for trees until June 30th of 2018. When in 2019, we will have uh, appropriated, if the city council passes in our budget, $50,000 for trees tree plantings and related supplies. Um, speaking to Lily's comment about the EAB information that Jay had, so there's a workshop being held um, in the DCR West Regional Office in Pittsfield on the 24th of April, um, which is an all-day conference with multiple speakers to talk about the Emerald Ash Borer um, and its impact it's having on Western Mass and now in the Valley. And statewide. When did so, you say was that date? That is the 24th of April. So it's the week of Arbor Day. And it goes from. Pittsfield? Yes, the DCR West Regional Office. It goes from 8 30 in the morning until 2 15. I'm sorry, 2 3 p.m. And they're going to have uh, basically a uh, seminar time in a probably classroom type setting. And then after lunch, it's all going to be training in the field, identifying ash trees, identifying EAB damage, mm -hmm. tree inventory demonstrations, how to hang EAB traps, and uh, tree uh, tree trunk injection demonstration. Mm -hmm. So I've signed up for this because I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Given the fact that we might have emerald ash borer on Armory Street, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm working with DCR to possibly identify one or two of those trees for removal, so they can actually take them and uh, take them back and test them. On Armory? Yeah. In the parking lot? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I went down there today and I didn't see any signs of it, but I'm just on the ground. I, I've got to get yeah. on. What's well, your suspicion based on? Uh, my, my suspicion is based on DCR because they actually, oh. they have, uh, I call them field operators, but field folks that go around and they actually are progressing um, the EAB progress in every community and just oh. making spot checks. Oh. So. And I don't know if you said this, but my understanding, Maxie went, attended a, a, a session on is that it, it um, the infestation starts in the canopy? And yes, it works, works its way down. So right. by so the I, time I, you find it, any sign of it down below, yes. that tree yes. is gone. That's why, like I said, I, I yeah, did it best. early in the morning today. I was looking around and it was dark. I had a flashlight. Yeah. But obviously, I didn't, I didn't see any D shaped exit holes, but yeah. it was basically, you know, six feet high. Yeah. So this will be a good conference to go to, um, I think. So I'm going to sign myself up for it. I can pass around the it was by invitation only, but I will share you. I'll share with you the website. So if you're interested, um, so that's one item. Uh, the other item is is that next Wednesday I'm going to give the presentation that Lily put together that Lily and I gave uh, at the Western Mass Tree Wardens Foresters Association at the Fall River Urban Forestry Workshop. So they've expanded my time by 15 minutes. So I think I can basically do the whole presentation. I have time for questions. So that that'll be that'll be interesting. So I'll pass this around if anyone's interested in it. That's the adjusted schedule. I feel like we've done a bit since then. I'm wondering if you want me to add a few more slides at the end. Well, what I'm going to do on Friday morning, I meet with Karen Nelson, who is our GIS coordinator, and she and I are going to take the original pr presentation, and we're going to add all the photos that I've captured that include all the plantings we've done this year, mm -hmm. um, the whole. Uh, section, you know, some photos of the Forbes planting in that community effort, mm -hmm. and then the other community effort at Village Hill. So I'm going to try to mm -hmm. wrap all that in there. Possibly have to remove some, maybe some, maybe take some other slides out that you know might be a little redundant. Possibly. Right. Right. So, right. 
So but I, you present it on March 28th, and then you will present. No, I, I will. You will I present, will present it, it, and then you will present it in Northampton. I mm, ha I hadn't planned on it. Oh. No, because I think did, did you give that pre that whole presentation in City Council as well? Uh, no, um, we have on the agenda. We don't have on the agenda, but I'm putting it under uh, other business mm -hmm. to um, add a city council presentation to a discussion today. Okay. Um, but when I when I gave a presentation to, to city council, they don't usually give you more than ten minutes. Right. So you. So it was yeah. all verbal. It was yeah. it was nothing. There were no slides. So I mean, I think uh, to be honest with you, I think we're being a little, we're being groomed. I think to give this presentation and other. Uh -huh communities that have uh, volunteers, that have a community effort like we have. Uh, so I, you know, we were, Lily and I were asked at the Tree Warden Center that to maybe possibly give a presentation to the uh, Tree Wardens and Foresters Conference this past year, but I think they had already had their schedule filled, so possibly the following year. Mm -hmm. So I think it would, I think it's interesting. Fall River's a long ride, but it's really worth it because it's a professional connections for me are gonna be good, and plus just to get our, our name off there. I'd be happy if it ever comes up to give the presentation as a member of the commission. I mean, I think it's great to have you as our tree warden and only as the chair. But if, if we're ever in need of Thank somebody, you. yeah, I, I mean, I think it's great. I think the more the more the more the merrier. Yep. Yeah. Um. So let's see. Sorry. The, our, so the Tree City USA uh, award ceremony, the yearly award ceremony, I think is going to be held in Northampton this year. Right. Mm. So yeah. there's two dates, potential two dates. I found out today from Molly Farlisher, May 30th or June 12th. It's either going to be held at Smith College on their campus somewhere, I'm not sure where, or it may be held at Look Park at the Garden House. What were the dates again? Um, the tentative dates are either May 30th or June 12th, depending upon the venue. So it's usually it's a it's a it's a pretty uh, fun-filled morning with uh, different speakers, um, introductions uh, in the afternoon after lunch is typically reserved for one speaker and then they actually give out the, uh, the awards and we actually are eligible again for our Tree City USA and our Growth Award. So that's that's a, the Growth Award is kind of the, the Growth Award is a big deal. Tree City USA is a big deal. The Growth Award is a big deal because it shows that we have continually made improvements to our Basically, we got most of our points for our planting program and the actual tree guide for the growth award were two things that really ranked high. So that shows a tremendous amount of progress, which is which is great. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have. Any, I mean, I have other things, but I think they fit in with other uh, other topics that are in the agenda. So I think. Um, oh, uh, one other thing. So the tree guide. Just, just quickly, this is not on the tree. I've been working with. Um, Alicia. Alicia to make some amendments some corrections that we found some just some, uh, misnumbered pages mm -hmm. um, the other thing too is that I've also been uh, emailing back and forth with Carolyn Mish about this document and um, this is their list here on the front that they have that's actually in the subdivision rules and regulations so I'm working with her to get this document and replace replacement of this document so um, Carolyn, so I've, I've got to make, there's a few things in here that I, for example, we never we planted a bunch of Scarlet Oaks in front of Forbes Library. We should probably add Scarlet Oaks to our list, things of that nature. So small things that are just going to make some small corrections to it, yeah. just some additions. And so this is just going to be a fluid document. And then Alicia and I are still working on the back half of this, which is going to have appendices for the significant tree ordinance. Uh, NGL Chapter 87, and it's also going to talk about uh, tree uh, tree protection. So we basically, Alicia's taken, done some really nice work with some uh, mock-ups that I gave her, tree protection diagrams, and this really would just be eventually just handed out, and this is what uh, any developer or anyone could take this, construction company, whomever, and it will be like a one-stop shopping. So I, that, that's... I, huh? I sent you that thing on tree protection. Yes. Okay. Yep. I thought I, I yep. knew what I was supposed to do and I thought I did it. Okay. So that's just kind of uh, just just a work in progress. It's just gonna keep plugging away at it. But Carolyn's really receptive to she she loves the document. She thinks it's great. Wayne likes the document a lot. Good. 
So nothing Good. but a few days to that. So. Excellent. Great. And that's that's it. Okay. You know, with the five extra minutes I have before your your our allotted time is up, I realized that I forgot, Marilyn. Yeah to mention, uh, to add your draft letter to today's agenda? Yes, I brought it. I oh, thought, great. So let's share more on that in. It. Okay, talk about it now? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, so at our last meeting, I offered to draft a letter. Um, this would be part of our Arbor Day celebration to landscapers and landscape contract type businesses. So I'll pass this letter around and it's signed by Lillian Rich, and what we're including are the, the new planting guidelines, treeless and planting guidelines, um, our informational door hanger on proper mulching, and a summary of um, MGL uh, Chapter 87, which Rich sent me a nice one-page, two-sided PDF um, from DCR. So that's the letter, and and you sent that out to, uh, to everyone electronically, right? I, I, I was just checking my email. I sent it to Rich, you, and Molly on yeah. March 8th. Ah, okay. I don't think we got that. Yeah, okay. I'm so, sorry I did not respond. That's okay. It, it was snowing. <laughs> I, was, I was like, one more thing for Rich to do. No, that's fine. And this is just what I started, um, just Googling companies. If you know of any others, let me know. But, so I spent, sent this spreadsheet to you, Rich, with um, the companies yeah, and their addresses. So we thought this would be um, something different and effective for Arbor Day. You know what I might have to do yeah. is just read it out loud. Oh, all right, because if it's held up mm -hmm. one that, by yeah. one, okay. it's going to take forever. Okay, so it'll be on the City of Northampton letterhead. Dear so-and-so, the City of Northampton is pleased to offer to local professional landscape companies like yours the following resources to help you carry out best practices for planting and caring for trees in our community. And then it's one, two, three. So one, the City of Northampton's tree list and planting guidelines, which include recommended small, medium, and large tree species, tree species and siting details, as well as a section on proper planting guidelines. Two, our informational door hanger on proper mulching that describes the pervasive, dangerous practices of volcano mulching around tree trunks and illustrates correct mulching techniques. Three, Summary of Massachusetts General Law Chapter 87, our state law governing public shade trees that outlines the powers of the tree warden, protocols for removing public shade trees, and penalties for violating provisions of the law. We hope that you find these materials helpful as you prepare for this year's landscaping season. Please note that the Northampton Public Shade Tree Commission and tree warden meet the first and third Wednesday of each month at 4 p.m. In Northampton City Hall here now. We warmly invite you to attend our public meetings and bring your questions and comments. Thank you for your commitment to a healthy tree canopy in Northampton. Signed, Lily Ann Rich. That's a great tone. Yeah. The tone is, is really so excellent. It's, it's concise and mm -hmm. offers constructive material. My only worry is that if we change our meeting time, <laughs> no. not that we're going to have them yeah. breaking down our door yeah, to come right. to the meeting, but it, let's not forget to talk about that today. It, it Maybe you could just refer it to the website, see website for uh, See website for oh, meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder if that could be put on the letterhead. Um, the, the city's, uh, the website's not on the letterhead. Not on, okay. It would have to oh. be probably embedded. Okay. Um, um, yes. So, is the thought that I mean you're picking uh, the phone book? Or yeah, I I just did a quick uh, search through the hard copy phone book and online. Would it be all right to send like if we just see if we like if we felt like accumulating a list of people that we see working like if we see them on sure. King Street? Everybody. Yeah, and just write that yeah. down and then maybe have someone. Uh, I don't know who it would be. Let's just keep a spreadsheet. Right. So you started one. one. Yeah, I can do a Google Doc and share oh, with everybody. I can email yeah, you. I may have some, I just, you know, yeah. my head. Mm -hmm. So we can all email you people we see working in town. You can see it. No, or or if we, she shares a spreadsheet, you can put it right in there. Yeah, because my understanding is, Rich, your, um, somebody in your office will be doing the mailing because you have all the materials. The yeah. Head and yep. and all. yeah, it would, it would, be, it would be a standard letter that would be sent Do you mind if I write it? Th through the through the city 
Does the mayor need to see this yep. and approve it? Okay. Yep. So once we figure out our final draft, then I can. Well, I think it's close enough. The only thing that we might be missing is the uh, website. Okay. And the website, frankly, the URL is so elaborate that I think mm -hmm. that it would be better if we just say, please visit the city of Northampton website and go to, um, and, you know, follow the link to the, to the Public Shade Tree Commission for more information. Okay. Because okay. it, it, the URL is just mm -hmm. ridiculous. There's surely other, you know, many more companies that yeah. maybe don't advertise. Yeah. Are there so any standards? First, I was saying, maybe we won't have all the names, but if yeah, we can keep track grow. of them as we go, the list will grow, I think. Yeah, and we can send it out on a regular basis. Right, right. That's what I was hoping that we could. I'll let you go back to Maryland. So that great start on this, list. Marilyn. And okay. so, so your next step then is to just get a, a sentence in about the website. Yep. And then I think it's ready to go to the mayor. Because we want to get this, if it's like, if they're launching their, their um, landscaping season, it's launching, like in, in weeks, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So can we set a, a goal for, um, to get this out? What, what's the reason? We have to wait for the, the guidelines to be completed though, what do we? No, because the guidelines, the guidelines are going to be electronic. They're, they're already, they're on our webpage. So the guidelines they can use them just the way they are. I think what we should do though is we should take the flyer, the free flyer from DCR, and actually stuff that in the envelope with the letter that talks about MGL Chapter 87. Okay, and then the door hangers. And then the and then uh, a door door hangers about the volcano mulching. Um, and uh, what else? Do we have? So send uh, just those two things. Yeah. So you're saying that you're not going to put the actual tree list, the the, the guide, in a, a a mailing to them. No. How about if I no can no because I, I I think what we should do is we should reference. I th that's why I think we should try to keep it electronically because if we end up mailing we can mail them all out and it's just going to cost money. I don't. Mm -hmm. The well, thing is is that it's not. I have to actually send this back. The three pages that were incorrect that actually give the wrong reference numbers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to have that printed. Marcus Printing has to print them and then I have to break these open and. Cha just mm -hmm. change those three pages so that'll be a little time consuming okay. so we could circumvent that by just saying you know visit uh, the tree guy the tree guy can be found at uh, the city of Northampton DPW tree wardens so on and so forth is it on is it on tree Northampton site um, I'm just looking for a simple URL there, yeah. so we're on this yes you're sending us a regular put it up not, there. not email well my original impression was that everything would be mailed, but um, I, I hear what you're saying, Rich, that instead of mailing the hard copy of the guide, we would just include a reference to yep. the website. Yep, and I can see if Karen Nelson, we can simplify it to make it easy for people to pick off. I'm wondering, um, since we're not, since the mailer will have the letter, the door hanger, the um, message to the general law 87 one-pager, Maybe we could create like a one page, we could f maybe copy the front of the guide and then just include a link on it. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. people yeah. have yeah. A, yeah, a reference. Yep. Okay. I like that idea. Uh, sorry if I missed it. So, is it already posted on our website? Yes. Okay. It was supposed to be moved actually. Yeah, so it's uh, basically so it's not with the button. No, it's www.northampton.gov uh, backslash eighteen oh nine backslash tree warden. It's, it's not that difficult to get to. They can always save it and put it on a website or something. Um, okay, so I'll let you guys figure out whether you want to put, you want to write the URL or, or however you want to do that. Um, but in terms of a deadline, what should we shoot for here? April 15th? No. Is it too soon? No, sooner than that. Okay. Sooner than that because they're going to start doing the spring cleanups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if they haven't started already. Okay, so just name a date so we can just know that that's a hard and fast deadline. And you have the door hangers, Rich? Yes, I have all okay. the door hangers, and we can send the letters out very easily. It's just 
the sooner we put this together and get it to the mayor's office, just sometimes yeah. things have to take a little time when they go over there, so but we can just Was the idea with the door hangers that the landscapers would give those to no, the customers? No, it's just the information on the oh. It just happens to be in a door hanger format oh, because Oh, that's why we oh. printed it. Okay. Um, but it's just, it's, it's a very good visual. It's okay. got visuals it's of bad and oh. correct yeah, mulching techniques. Uh, Marilyn, why don't, yes. we, why don't we say that we have the final draft ready by the 28th? I mean, I, I, I'm i having trouble getting online here, but um, I, I could uh, just revise it when I get home tonight and send just, it off. Just to send you. it to me and we'll just, we'll go back and forth okay. until we get it to where we want it. All right. And then as soon as it's good to go, I will send it to the mayor's office on the city letter. And then once it's approved, then you and I will sign it and then we'll take multiple copies. Sounds good. Well, Excellent. Thanks. Send it. Thanks, All right. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. That's an important Arbor Day thing we're doing. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel better. Um, okay, so I'm uh, moving on to 2018 planting plan. I just wanted to share, thank you, Terry, for printing this out in a font <laughs> size. Um, what I did, uh, uh, this is uh, just made it easier for me. I sorted this, Jen, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I sorted it in large, medium, and small um, trees so that I could get a count. And I pulled all, this right now is solely the, all the trees that are, that you see sorted as a, the final count of 221 trees. Are, oh, are that's all the blue. That, Yes, the blue okay. is total large on the first page is 114. Total oh, medium oh, is 31. Okay. Total small is 71. For a grand total, it's very hard to read this. For a grand total, total 221 large. trees that we have identified on high priority streets in the tree belt. So these are all trees that we don't yeah. have to consult with private property yeah. owners about. Well, what happens here under the yellow bar? Um, that just demarks where the public shade trees end, and then everything after um, Rob did not print did not print sufficient information because I think what happened is the way you can work spreadsheets is you can hide certain columns, mm -hmm. and I had hidden columns that had provide information about the setbacks. Okay, so this is coming up for the moment. Totally different than the, the top part. So yeah. how many medium was it? 30 so something? there's 31 mediums. 31 medium. uh -huh. Yeah. Is everyone following how this is arranged? And so is these vacancies? These are vacant sites. So where we think we can accommodate large, medium, and small trees. Mm -hmm. That physically were looked at by me and Jay and Rob mm -hmm. and Rich. We, yes. we oh, got info and then we went out. Exactly. And then the small, I'm sorry, how many small? Uh, 71, but having said that, I just want to flag, then you see the green? Yeah. The green, you can't even read this, but this is where it would require, it says something like tree pit removal and... Right. So those are the very, very tricky ones. And then there are some, which I also flagged that you can't see as well, where it says unable to locate due to snow. Mm -hmm. Those are mostly in the small section. So I, I'm not sure how much we want to count any of those in the Those total. are mostly on Route 5, right? Yeah, Route those Pleasant. are Pleasant Street. Yeah, I would say probably 99% of those are going to need modification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and we know Pleasant Street was, is difficult. It's very difficult. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm bringing this up, this list up, because I think it's just helpful to have a visual, to know what your final count is, to know also that you have a lot of wiggle room. Because our goal was only to plant 150 uh, of these site type of locations, and so you have flexibility. And so the ones that you want to check out this year, just pitch them, punt them down the road for another year, or maybe some of them are not satisfactory at all. And then I also want to just note that some of them that the Jay did, like he did a bunch. Um, trying to find where. I'm he did a bunch of Route 9 near um, near the VA, I believe. He went from the from the high school to the VA. He went from the high school to the VA. Yeah, I uh, yeah I I don't you know I think he was just looking for sites. I'm not sure to what extent he he felt like those were high priority sites. So all this to say that this is a this is your rough canopy, and and you have or canvas 
upon which you can be more refined depending on what trees you get and um, and where you feel like the more granular priorities are. What are all these ones that say Route 9 that are blank? That's the part where there are hidden columns that have more information about them as setback trees. Just ignore oh. So they're basically. probably not trees. They're probably setbacks. not trees. They're, they're not this part of the planting program. Yeah, there's something else we don't need to speak about today. And same with these ones back here? Yeah. Yep. So that's that piece. Any questions, any thoughts, comments? What to do next? Rich, you feel like you have you've got some broad numbers now? Yeah, we've got some broad numbers. We also, Rob and I finalized the tree order list. And we ended up actually getting 168 trees from Amherst Nursery. And we got some nice trees, actually. Great. Uh, and they roughly fall into the sort of numbers that we're looking. Yes. At. Yeah. And we're you know we're not you know that's a, this contract is 22, basically 23 thousand mm dollars. -hmm. So we have 6582 left um, that we can utilize for other you know nabbing other trees as we go along. Mm -hmm. But between the 168, what is our total in the nursery? Uh, uh, there's about 30 trees. Yeah, so we're between the trees we presently have and this order, we're, we're getting to, we're getting 30, 80, 89 trees. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I could just say something about the trees in the nursery, we, I think we got good trees, but it was not easy this spring to, to get trees, and I think it will be easier next year. There's a huge dearth of trees at the nursery right now and a huge number coming in. Mm -hmm. so, uh, well, what was difficult this year? It was hard to source as many. We spent a lot of time over there picking through what is essentially the what got left behind. Um, and we were quite successful in getting 158 nice trees, but we took it's not if you sent me back there and say pick 20 more trees i don't know you know there aren't that many really fine specimens that we want just click on tree but right there 4,500 trees are coming in in april which is just a gigantic number they're getting bare root that they're then putting in yeah 4,500 it's a huge number i mean and you tag the trees that you so we had but so you get the ones that you pick. Right. In other words, uh -huh. because you go there and we say, okay, there are 10 um, Wood of King Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I already was there last year and got 10 or 15. Mm -hmm. So I know. Mm -hmm. You know. So then we got the next five. Mm -hmm. and left five. You know. Mm -hmm. And you can tell when you look at their inventory, there are very few where there are any numbers. Yeah. It's always like, oh, yeah, we got three of those. Yeah. 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 When you see that, you know you're, yeah. you know, you're not. Good. So, why the big wave? I don't know. You know yeah. Why you like to look the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah but we're also in touch with Ponce right now. Oh, oh, that's excellent. They have some trees. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I do have one thought yeah. about this. I, as we were doing this, and you know, it's snowing, and I go to, I may make a day. I'm going to go out, and it starts snowing. <laughs> I want, um, and just the tight time that we had. If we could like just get it in our cycle, maybe to start in the summer, yeah. naming sites exactly. and going to look at them, yeah, yeah. you know, like get a little bit farther ahead, yes. so we have a little more wiggle room because it was hard to go look at the sites. Absolutely. You know? So once so once we've got this, I want to think absolutely yeah. straight to yeah. 2019. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Um, one thing I want to flag is uh, on the first page where it says Bridge Road 111 Bridge, it, it, it calls for a columnar, a large columnar tree. See, it says site between two bridge types. On the first bridge Road? It's for Bridge Tree. It, bridge Road. Um, it's right above the total for the large yeah. trees. Above that blue box. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's on the first page. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. Right here. So the where you have the yeah. large total, oh, yes. I see it. yeah, yep. it's called somebody somebody said called for a large columnar. So I just I just wanted to point out that then if you go further up to Route 10, do you remember how we have a lot of trees here that we want to take out of the South Street site and uh -huh. move somewhere else? 
There is a current tree, a liquid amber, um, oh, yeah. um, which is a columnar, which mm -hmm. could be moved. Mm -hmm. So we, we, you know, we don't need a columnar tree. We already have one that can be moved. If, mm -hmm. if, if the liquid amber is a, um, does that grow to be a tall tree? Well, we have an oak sitting in the, yeah, we have a columnar oak. These things are flawed, though. They start to do, hmm? Yeah, they came back. The, the one over on the South pleasant. Street didn't. So, it, it went back up this winter. Needs to be grown and cleaned up. Yeah, I think they're flawed trees. I, I regret. Except giant stakes. That's good use of our time and resources. <laughs> well, anyway, you've got, got one. You've got one that needs to be. Sometimes when you, you know, select so tightly for certain horticulture characteristics, oh, yeah. you know, you're going to lose certain other things. Yeah. So anyway, um, you've got one that needs to be moved and can be moved. Um, and I think actually that goes for, there's a couple of trees there that are, if not columnar, um, pyramidal that might do the trick. Anyway, that's that. Um, Rob, do you want to, Rob and Sue and Rich, do you want to speak a little bit about what the plans are for planting these trees? Like have you thought about a schedule for aligning of volunteers? How, what's, what's the plan for that? I, I, I can comment a bit on it. Is that, um, we have a bunch of trees that we were in, in the middle of planting last fall that are in the right and they're just little ones and twos that mm -hmm. people have requested trees or that Rich has done removals for going back in. But, so that is something that I sort of do with a, there are a bunch of volunteers that like to do that. But all, all of the, virtually every one of these trees that's going to be planted, mm -hmm. maybe not everyone, many, many of them, are going to require a DPW because we're going to have to have flags and Big street know. protection. The big, big tree streets. Yeah. Well, just the streets. Yeah, the trees are too big to work on, and um, for the most part, not entirely, uh, but for the most part. Okay. So, so I think that uh, Rich and, and I and Sue will have to work to come up with dates where DPW is available mm -hmm. and volunteers. And identify stretches that we're going to Manageable gonna do. chunks. Right, right. So this spreadsheet, you know, can be resorted by location as opposed to right, right now it's just sorted by size of tree. Mm -hmm. Right, right. It has to be sorted by location and then we have to pick areas where I mean we, we discovered partly through working on this that Rich has found it's good to have people within sight of each roughly within sight of each other when it gets mm -hmm. too spread out mm -hmm. suddenly uh it's a little control gets yeah. difficult. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll probably look I mean part of the sorting, I mean this is the fun it's like the more fine grain is Oh, look for places where there are lots of trees mm -hmm. near each other mm -hmm. um, as a way of having large scale. Because I think we kind of struck on maybe 16 trees at a time or something like that as a... You really get your best your best bang for your buck when you have volunteers if you stay in one focused area. Yeah. When we're stretched out too far, mm -hmm. um, it gets too hard to manage. And the other mm -hmm. thing too is that, you know, volunteers, have, they wanna, they're there for a short period of time. They would like to be busy. So right. yeah. if we're too far apart, yeah. um, someone is ahead of us digging holes or, or yeah. yeah. So I think we learned our I think we learned a really valuable lesson at the first uh, large scale planting back in May of seventeen and then we improved on it in the fall planting. Yeah. And I think twenty trees? There's some number. We did, we decided on a number that we thought was yeah, like 30 was too many. 30 was too many. And plus it was so spread out mm -hmm. between right. tools and water and mulch mm -hmm. and people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. too many parts yeah. to be yeah. able to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And down at 20 trees, it just... 20 trees seemed right, right? It's a breeze. Yeah. 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 So, okay. All so right. everything will... I mean, we'll... And then there's the... Um, different streets have different characteristics of the trees that are on them, so that all... You know, existing existing trees. It makes a big difference if it's a nature bag or if it's mm -hmm. all burlap. Mm -hmm. That's a whole another issue. Well, world of difference. Is well, most of the amherst are going to be grow bag, right? Most of them. Yeah. Most, I think the, there are a lot that aren't, um, but there most are. Huh. The most are and a lot aren't. And so, again, that has to be taken into consideration how we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was actually quite a, it was actually <coughs> uh, probably about 80. 80 in grow bags? No, 80 in ball and ball. <coughs> 80, so it's half and half. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. 
Yeah. yeah. It depends on them. That's, that's a problem. And are we are we gradually moving away from that? Like our new her, their new sets of trees are they going to all be grow back? No. Well, the thing the, the thing is is that these because of the ones that we picked that you know we walked around the nursery. This is what he had. Yeah. And, and I don't think we're going to completely get away from using ball burlap. I just mm -hmm. don't think it's going to be. We will as time goes on, unless we. The only way we could get away from it completely is if we said, John, we want you to grow. Contract. You know, yeah, five five hundred trees for the next five years, all grow back, and in the fifth year, we'll we'll take a hundred at a time, or however we decide to do it. But well, conceivably, if we get if we pull it together a, a three year plan, we could we could, we could do that. And we consulted with the mayor because it would require a lot more money up front, right? Uh, not necessarily because we're not legally allowed to pay for goods until they are delivered. Mm, okay. So Amherst always just takes you for your word. Well, if we have a contract with them, then the contract is the word. So okay. basically, we don't right. we don't take any. We wouldn't pay him until. Unless there was some type of pre I have to have Joe Cook do some research if we can pay. So if we were to actually buy the nursery stock from somewhere as a city and give it to John to grow, then there would be the fee for him to grow it, and then the fee for him to harvest it, and then some kind of a fee for him to deliver it. But we would own the trees already. So that I, I've never, mm -hmm. I've never worked on it. Cause that's like a live contract, which I've never worked on. Always, so everything's been static, you know, a truck. Mm -hmm. a tree in its form of a B and B bag. I mean would that be an ideal? Would would you guys like to move to that? It seems to me like the the time, staff, resources, broken backs of dealing with ball and burlap is just not worth it. And if yeah. we can yeah. move it's terrible. I mean it, it, it's what I'm, when I said it was very hard to find the trees. Every time I look at a B and B, I don't want it. Grown. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want it grown. Yeah. Yeah. So I so I groaned mm -hmm. apparently eighty times. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that, that would be off. It's just quick math, but I roughly eighty times. But the but the other thing the other thing too though is that Rob and I found last year is that we went, we walked around Wansix and in the back, yeah. they had some beautiful trees that were B and B, yeah. and the B and Bs were. Um, uh, this is this is that yeah, and so those were mm. those were not beautiful. They were beautiful trees, and they, they weren't too overly large. And so you know, I don't know. Yeah. so I think it's got to be. I think for now it's got to be a mix. But I I like the idea of actually moving to a three or four year program where we try to figure out if we can actually get a buy the nursery stock and have someone grow it for us, or um, just say we want these amount of trees and you just order them and we will pay you um, when certain thresholds are met. Um, and John is open, open. very open to that. Yeah. yeah, I think that would be the way to go. If we could get ourselves, I mean, in an ideal world, if we could get ourselves together to um, whatever you want to call it, contract grow, um, because then you could, you wouldn't have to, you know, go choose trees or what you could say. All right, mm -hmm. we want this much, you know, many trees. Yeah, I think it would you also know, he's willing. That to me, that would be, and if the more we can get in those grow bags, I just, and I think, you know, I didn't believe until I started planting them, mm -hmm. and those grow bag trees, the root systems, if they're mm -hmm. old enough, are like way yeah, and conversely, superior. conversely, I mean, I bought just personally, privately, uh, several trees from Wansex last year that looked pretty up top, ball and burlap. But when I exposed those roots, there was nothing there, folks. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Mm -hmm. And um, and so that's what we also also have to keep in mind when we're buying those ball and burlap trees. They're really, really distressed yeah. trees. Yeah. They're going to take so many more years to acclimate mm -hmm. to their new site. Yeah, they are. And I think it would also give us a chance to actually diversify our our plant our plant species that we want. I mean, I think you know we're really limited to whatever's out there. Right. We're fortunate that John is right across the river, and he is um, a progressive thinker when it comes mm -hmm. to to buying nursery stock. And you know, he also I think drives what he you know what he purchases by what you know what drives the market for him. Of course. So okay. DCR has driven the market for him, okay. and you know we're we're twenty you know we've spent I don't know probably seventy five thousand dollars with him in the last three years. So, I mean, you know we're 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 a nice Player. small close market. Amherst was a nice yeah. market when they were planting, um, yeah. you know, all the trees they had over there when they had their contracts. Right. So, yeah, I don't I'm know. Sure I, I think that's definitely something we need to put our 
Okay. All right, I think I should well, I should just keep this topic growing from meeting to meeting and we just we keep we keep refining what, what our next step is because I think it is the direction we want to move in. All right, I'm going to move us along. Um, anything else about the planting plan before we so I assume that you guys will be considering dates about yep. when we're going to have these plantings and you'll you'll loop us in. Yep. There's a fair number just so I don't forget. Which there's a fair number of trees on that list, that including some ginkgos and lindens that probably should be dug in the fall. Just which, which is fine. I yeah, mean, which is fine. Just, so it just means we can't go and plant the 150 mm, trees. Yeah, yeah. It's all for it's for the entire calendar right. year. Right. Okay. okay. Um, this is just a brief update. <laughs> this is going to take one minute um, of <laughs> the um, the labeling project that my daughter is. Um, trying to facilitate between Smith College and the city of Northampton and Child's Park is involved in it, in it now because the head of the, one of the one of the heads of the Botanic Garden at Smith College is on the board of Child's Park and and really wants to see a few of the Child's Park's trees get labeled so I think that this year is just going to be a pilot so whether she's going to start very small and she's been asked to start with five trees she's actually pushing it to ten Five of the trees will be in Child's Park. Five will be in the city of Northampton. So she will work with us um, to identify five trees. Uh, a couple of them might be special specimen trees like the Champion Pin Oak on Columbus Avenue, but most of them will probably be in, the, in Pulaski Park or somewhere visible, highly visible in downtown. And then she, she will do the research on the tree including if there's any his historical information on the tree. She will put together a tree speak rec recording. Um, mm -hmm. She will create the label that will have a, a co-brand. This is, codes. yeah, yeah, it'll have a QR code. QR, yeah. So that, you know, you put your, um, your phone up to it um, and then it takes you right to the Smith College tree speak site and a little audio comes on and tells you all about that tree. Cool. But do you have to download something onto your phone? I don't think that you have to download anything. I think that it takes you, you right to I thought it was you, an app. You, have to have you put app. on your yeah. phone a QR reader app. Yeah. Oh, that's that's all. Right. And For any, any, any QR, QR anywhere. Got it. I never did it. Really? Um, so, like she, so she will be. So she'll be um, when she yes. she is she has written a proposal. It needs to be approved by Smith before it comes to us. Then she'll bring it to you, and um, and then. Well, you'll take a look at it and consider it. Will it be her voice? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Although Todd volunteered his, and Todd has a really oh, good yeah. voice. He does have a good voice. <laughs> but she's got a cute voice. I like too. the voice of you, though. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. true. That's true. Yeah. Um, all right, so that, that was my minute about that. And now we're at Arbor Day preparation. And Arbor Day yeah. preparation, we've already talked about Marilyn's piece. Rich, did you send us a list of? I did. You did. You Can you remind us what they are? You guys missed the boat. Oh, we did. Boat. <laughs> did anybody chime Rob, in? Rob. Good. What are we looking for? My, my, my right hand. So you've already ordered. I had, order? I had to because if I didn't, we were going to lose the right. diverse species. Yeah. So yeah. red oak. Um, I tried to get concolor furs, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. So we were able to get balsam furs, eastern uh, hawthorn bean, lilac trees, which are popular. And uh, sweet gum. Lilac is in lilac shrub. The lilac. Yes. Uh huh. Yep. Sweet gum. Is that right? No, actually, wait a minute. No, that's was the sweet gum or shrub. The red oak, the red oak balsam fir. I better check my notes. Is red oak, balsam fir, eastern. I thought we got eastern hot corn bean, lilac tree, and sweet gums, but I could be mistaken. But that so. Right. We have 500 whips mm -hmm. this year like we had last year. Mm -hmm. right. So that's taken care of. We have 500 or something. And Tree Northampton is still good for arranging volunteers for that? Yes. Um, the dates? Uh, the Friday and Saturday of Arbor Day. And um, Friday, 27th, 28th, or something. I also okay. mailed these cards. I don't know, did we get any responses? No, I'm not. Well, I we would. Oh, to the. I mean, at least all like all the schools. No, I'm not aware. I mean, the that deadline was extended, so I don't know if any more schools. Oh, you got one. We do. That's okay. 
Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Did you say? Yeah. Always the third. And it is the hours are something like eight to four on Friday, but only eight to noon on Saturday. Do I have that right? Yes. I like eight, it eight last. Noon Saturday yes. and just like last year. Same as eight to. I'll pull out everything. No, no, one last to. year and start with those people. Yeah. yeah. They want to come out. Great. And you guys are packaging them. That works for you. Yep. Or you don't need volunteers to do that. I don't think so. I think we can. It's good. Good project to do. Mm -hmm. the day, so. Great. Um, and Cooley Dick, did they ever get a plan? No. John and I need to work on that, I guess. We need to draft some kind of a plan, and I just have not had the time to do it. Oh, okay. So we've got to draft a plan quickly of what we talked about in the plan. You said you needed to get the overlay or something? No, or I mean, I'm just going to assume that it's most of the place we're planting on is private property. Okay. My assumption is it's mostly all private property. So I could suggest uh, if a question, if they are going to sign the document and make them city trees, then obviously you, you have one. Yeah. I think it's unlikely they're going to go that route. If, if they don't go that route, I was going to say potentially you could offer volunteers to come plant the trees and the city's not yeah. planting in that particular mm -hmm. route. Can't use the city tree stock though. No, I know they they would have to buy trees, and we would yeah. we would we, yay whatever supply and mm -hmm. expertise, mm -hmm. we would supply digging so that the city could not require the signing of it. it it'll, you'll come to that when you come to it. I mean, with them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I guess I'm just saying I hope you don't stop if they if they balk. No, project. in fact, um, uh, uh, you know, there's an advantage for them to supply the trees. That they pay. F they pay for the trees. It's savings to the city. So I. Um, well, e either way, I'm, fi I'm finding the way. I just want to. Don't want this project to like get stopped. Um, I do feel like it's stuck. I would really love to see it move forward. Um, we met with him on January like fourth, and he um, almost a month ago asked, "Hey, what's up?" And I said, we're just get, we're going to send him your plan. So let's let's just move. Let's just push push forward on this to get him a plan, and because then they can decide whether they want to fund it themselves. But he can't he can't bring it forward to right, the board. Right, without, without having a plan, I understand. Um, it so does. Is that kind of arbitrary? Well, that was the original plan, but I I don't oh. know how that could be possible at this point. Hard because you have to get the trees. Yeah. If, I mean, somebody has to get the trees. They do. Yeah. We do. It's um, it does. It does make me realize, though, that we don't have a really good at this point um, sort of um, uh, I don't know press suitable action for Arbor Day. Now that in front of the Daily Hampshire Gazette. What? In front of Daily Hampshire Gazette. But that also requires a plan and an approval. Not in the tree belts, it doesn't. What about the new tree? Okay. Plan? All right. So, I, so did you look into the? Thing about the so the bioswales the bioswale bio is fine. I talked to Doug McDonald. So Jen and I went and looked at that day, kind of as a as another project. I'm going to just Go uh, chime in politically on mm -hmm. this. Is that I think it might look like we're kind of smearing them in the face if we just do that without having consulted them at all about about oh their no, space. No, I, I think it should be just. A, I think we should have a conversation with them and saying that you know we would like to plan the front, but we also still want to plant in the back. Part of the issue with the Gazette property is though is that the part of the bioswale is owned by the Gazette. The sidewalk is owned by the Gazette. The wow. sidewalk is not owned by the city. The city had to take an easement to build the sidewalk and the bioswale. So we can plant within the bioswale close enough to the public right of way that I feel comfortable uh -huh. that the trees there will mature enough and be what they will be. So um, I think we just need to reach out to them and talk about their own property and because whatever we plant in the front, obviously whatever they want to plant in the back will be impacted by what we plant in the front. And what you mean back is you mean the part yes, closer to the Yeah, on, on their property. Yeah. I mean in the, the Which well, there's no they have to pay right. to, to remove those trees. Right. That's so, part of it. And, and well, well okay, so trees. what they asked of us is a plan. That's that was my that was my clear running orders is we will consider a plan. 
but I think we need to we need to just provide one. So are they looking for a plan for their own property as well or just for When I went and met them, that yeah. was exclusively what I talked about because at that stage you had told me that the bioswale was off limits. Yeah, and I after some investigation and talking with Doug, he, he welcomed it. Yeah. He said I'd much rather see trees in there than and people filling in with dirt like they're on North Street, you know, which would totally void this. So I, what I did is I had this, there was no parking signs, so those are gonna be moved. Mm -hmm. Those will be out of the way. And then there's that large area where there is a hint, that large, when you first drive out of the driveway, there's a large flat space there, but right before the crosswalk that is large enough to take a really majestic, mature tree. So we potentially could use the trees that we have ordered or trees that we already have existing, unless we don't, unless they're already spoken for, which I don't think they all are. No, they're not. On that project, we just have to plug those in with the amount of, you know, I think we talked about planting, I think five, five trees. We may, we may have to, we may have to revisit it, but about five trees, and then we would have to actually. Um, yeah. I think it's five trees that kind of make it go together that we might not have handy way to get we might have to get five trees especially if we want to do like a block planting yeah because the, the area there there's no overhead wires there yeah, yeah. so Perfect it should be spot. nice because you could get some really big, you know, big trees there white oaks you have you have stuff here jen but i don't know what that that was not under the. I, mean, I, I, type, I thought yeah, I typed it all. Thought, we thought that the well, was out. So, um, I typed it all in. So Rich and so I, I think out of, out of out of especially because because that would likely cover cover this. Um, but I do think just it just out of closing a loop and out of deference to our relationship with with our local media, that we should circle back to him and and update him on what we're planning to do within the tree belt and then also provide a plan and I mean e it doesn't have to be a perfect polished one but it could be a general one if it does involve it, it, and he said he was uh, he was open to removal of those of the current trees I think he's aware that they're terminal mm -hmm. or dead um, really but they would have to pay apples. to remove them oh, yeah. No. I mean, I, okay. we don't. We're not in the business of removing private trees, no. mm -hmm. but we are in the business of replacing yep. trees. So yeah. um, we can make that clear. So we just need to get to the next step. Um, and if that, I, I think that sounds like a great Arbor Day planting. The, I think the one the, I, I, I still want to pursue the Cooley Tick project. I just think that project, the amount of trees that Jen and I, when we went over there and walked, and then when you and I walked originally. It's just a lot of. It's like 16. Or yeah, it, it's a, it's a lot of trees, and I think that we we just need to make sure that we actually cross cross our T's and dot yeah. our I's yeah. with them. And I think it's the project a little more complicated. The Gazette is complicated, but not as complicated because we have some control over what happens in the front. Yeah. As long as we communicate with them and say, this is the plan for the front, you know. And this is what our proposal is for the setback type plantings. This is what we have for plant material. You know, and I think that's kind of what we got to do is just, I can actually just print out the Con Street construction projects. I can print out that one page, try to clean it up, and then we can actually sit the trees just right on the draw, plant. Yeah. Just do you, draw, yeah. Do you want me to start a, an email conversation? Sure, now? yep. Okay. Yep. So what do you, what do you, does it make more sense for Rob? to choose the trees because you know what is ordered and how well, big they yeah we do you have know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd like to be involved yeah. yeah you have a list right here so things come okay. to mind yeah. okay okay so i will start so rich rob first so maybe permission to, personally I, the permission to even proceed with them right or, or i think they're or, i think no. they're asking for they're asking here for this is what we want to oh, do okay. you know so yeah. so so what I'll do is I will tomorrow I'll try to get a, a document together that is a that we can that we can work off, off. Okay. and then we should probably just meet Me. yeah, yeah. yeah. And we then, can and then plug, plug in yeah. plug in tree stock that we have available yeah. to us in the front and then come up with some kind of a planting plan for them yeah. with yeah. you know a couple okay. pair, a couple species mm -hmm. that they can choose from if they right. have any 
and then see if they go for it. In the front, can I make a pitch, because we so rarely do this in our city, of having a, a, a nice, neat row of the same species of trees? Yes. In yes. the swale. Yeah. In the swale, huh? Sure. Yeah, I just think it's such a dramatic, unique mm -hmm. spot mm -hmm. where we have 100% open mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. for the trees that we could mm -hmm. really... Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, so who, so you're going to do the, like, who's going to... So I'm going to... Lily's going to spearhead the email conversation. Email okay. Conversation. Going to a blank. I'm going to get a plan. And then, then you, are you going to tell us, can you meet on this day? Yes, or just yes. Time? I will okay. email you so we can just sit down yep. and plug in. Yeah, it shouldn't take long. No. It's, I'm going to probably small. send you a draft yeah. email of what I'm going to send him just to make sure that I'm saying the right things. Sure. And then, and then I'll email him. So I'm waiting to hear from Rich. Yes. Okay. Rich. I just want to make yeah. sure I'm on this year. dropping the ball on something. Just, I mean, like, just our like, so Well, yeah. I know. I, mean, we I kind know. Of no, no. Well, it's just, it's just it's just so happening so better to have you there because you know what. Yeah. So, have, for example, this plant it could happen any time. You know, so we also what they look like. Yeah. All the places up there where we're like really yeah. Totally. Them out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I'm really far off today, so I'm going to try to rein us in and get us back on schedule. For for an Arbor Day um topic for a press release, what about the guide? The new tree guide. Tree yeah. Tree planting guide. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we probably need to th we will have to. Okay. At our next meeting, we should probably pull together and have a set of. Oops, sorry. We <laughs> um, should pull together our thoughts on what we would like the press release to, okay. to say so okay. we can get it there early enough. Well, all right. But I think we'll have to know a couple of things. We'll have to know the, the gazette planting, mm -hmm. how that's going, mm -hmm. when it's going to be. Right. The Arbor Day time frame is set in stone. Um, if the gazette planting doesn't look like it's going to happen because we, something happens, I, I guess, do we have a third? Well, we at least have to get the gazette planting that we have control of. Yes, right? And, right, in, the, in the front, yeah. And then the third, I don't. I, that could be a minimum if we just. Yeah. We could do the replacements at Ryan School, Ryan Road. Yeah, we could. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, not headline making, but at least it's something and it involves a school and it is giving them trees they currently don't have. Um, Just for food for thought, but I think we should pursue the Gazette line because I think it really would be good. So just remember, institutions move so so we got to really move yep. and, and, and start this ball rolling. Yep. All right, I'm going to move us along, Molly. Okay. Sorry to uh, sorry to um, be late. So this letter that we passed out, actually Marilyn had already created the bones of it to begin with, actually more than the bones, um, and so we looked at it. We both looked at it and um, tweaked it and added some stuff. So this is a proposed draft of um, what we would have for an application for the neighborhood tree planting. The stuff that's in italics is things that I'm not sure of. Do we have a copy of this? Did you mm -hmm. get one? No, I didn't. I don't know. Okay. Isn't that the yellow? Here you go, look right there. Oh, this the yellow. Is that's oh, it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it has great. two sides. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the stuff in italics is um, things I wanted to run by everybody because I wasn't sure. Um, so maybe we could take a look through it. Okay. Is there time to do that? We'll get, so we'll get started. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thank through the whole thing and then okay. we'll come back with comments. Mm -hmm.
are we ready to um, give feedback? Or are people still reading? You're ready? Yeah. Others? Okay, we're gonna start. Okay, so we'll start with the, just start at the top and work our way down. Um, or, or just jump in. Okay, jump in. I would say um, if uh, we're gonna include on the city owned right away along the road or on privately owned front yards. Oh. Because we don't wanna, right? We, yeah. Where our interest is to plant yeah. setback trees in the front. So is it including setback trees? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has to be. Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. That's it, because because that's one of the ways we're getting setbacks into right. our overall right. Right. planting plan. Okay. One recommendation I would have is not have a downloadable application, but I would have a Google form or some kind of form right on. Well, this side. could be made. I mean, but I'm not sure how you actually convert this into a oh I can application I can very so easy. this can be that this yeah, is sort yeah, of a yeah. draft of that. exactly yeah. yeah so so for example when it says you know at, uh, application downloadable at blah 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 oh I would just on that page just have a Google form right there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we can also have a, a, a paper version for people who are, are right. electronic averse, but I, I think that most of this should go in the form of a of a online registration. Sure, that's fine. I can help you with that. Um, all right, I the be prepared to provide morning refreshments and lunch to volunteers in a neighborhood potluck. Um, I would just say provide refreshments to volunteers and and and, and then say and hold a neighborhood potluck. Okay, so that I was okay. So the neighborhood pollock is that a requirement? We're saying you have to do that. I mean, I is that what do people yeah. think about that? I think it's fine. I mean, I like the I like the concept, but I don't know if how about we recommend if the tree commission has to yeah order that you have to have a potluck yeah, in order to plant trees. Yeah. <laughs> be the same. Another another way we can do it is have people check <laughs> I and guess it's up check to all that apply. Check all that apply. We will provide refreshments. We will have a neighborhood apartment. And, and, and they don't have to be required, right. but then when we're judging them, we can say, oh, this neighborhood is willing to do this, 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 and this, and these are only willing to do this. This is a stronger application. But it's not ever saying it's required. You have to do it. That's a great idea, okay. I think. That's a great idea. And it gives a suggestion. Oh, yeah, we could. Because I like the idea of having a tree planting and then having Pot. Yeah, I mean, I think that's yeah, a, it's great great idea. Idea. It's a great idea. I just don't like the idea. You know, of I hear what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, you yeah, have totally. totally. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you survey? <laughs> okay, right. so it has to be vegan too. Yeah. Great. Right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, can we skip ahead to the back for a bit? Sure. Uh, just, I'm not sure how to fix this, but where it says owner, in theory. People our renters could be just as active in this because we're dealing with tree belt. Um, oh. So I, 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 so well, owner could be City of Northampton, I guess, if it's in a tree belt. Oh. I don't know if people will know the difference between where the tree belt stops and starts necessarily. Right. <coughs> but I, I guess. Okay, so Address. so we're trying to find out where we're planting. Yeah. You know, see, that's you, under you, planting you site details, it's not just owner slash, slash renter. Resident. 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 Yeah. I think. Yeah, that, that, that was. That's great. But if you're planting on a on a landlord property, you have to get the landlord's permission. Yeah, but right. you could you could say that somewhere, right. like when they apply, if somebody if it's all residents, you could we could contact I them don't. and say. Well, I, I what don't if we had a checklist on this that said a column that said either um, owner, resident, or city? Right. I mean, right. people aren't going to know though about the city property. They're not going to understand that, I don't think. Well, how They're, are they going to say, we want to have some trees here in this this part of the tree belt? You know, we want to have some trees between the sidewalk and the road, even if they don't know it's who owns it. Right. But but I guess it's not scaring away people who aren't owners. I think we can, I can, we, we, I can help you wordsmith this, that I think we can meet everybody's needs here. But okay. you're right. I mean, the owner is the city. Um, are the addresses always going to correspond with the people? Because you're going to have um, plenty of addresses where, you know, there's an elderly person in that house. There's not going to be a name on that. Well, so the I'm, idea is you want to know where the site is and who yeah. owns that spot. Right. So make sure we have permission to actually plant a tree there. Right. 
and that the people who live there actually want a tree there. I think it could be something like, is it, uh, there could be some check boxes. Is, is this site on private or city property? Um, or private, city, unknown. If private, do you have owner's permission? Right. Yes, mm -hmm. no, I'm sure, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something like that. But to be inclusive of, mm -hmm. the, you know, the people who rent, right. they right. may... Yeah. Well, Maybe yeah, their grandmother's and property. Yeah, and remember, this yeah. is just about sites. It's not about right. the people involved in the planting. Right. right. But so I'm curious. Th you're encouraging them to create an idea of where, what the planting site, what it should look like, like where the trees should go. Yep. We are. That doesn't okay. mean that once we've selected their neighborhood, we can't go in and find some more sites. I mean, that's an option. But mm -hmm. but or yeah, we're that trying the to sites are inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I think it's it's trying to give neighborhoods agency, mm -hmm. some agency over their own. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, as part of the application process, we'll look and we can go look and see what yeah, they picked, yeah. and if yeah. it seems like. We like can contact them. Yeah. Like yeah. Say there's no right. belt. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. They're supposed to fill this out from the get go. They are, but yeah. I like a, a, like I yeah. like Rob's suggestion. We could do like a little field um, mm -hmm. visit yep. before we oh, decide yeah. which one we're going to go mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what, Molly? I would be more than happy to sit down and really kind of um, crank out a form with you with this. That that I think just refines some of the language and, and Maryland too, because Maryland yeah. Maryland's sure. the one who really who really worked created, on it. We both did. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So the the only thing that I. My only other, my only comment is that somewhere in here, I think we should make sure that we mention a partnership with Tree Northampton. Ah, okay. Because I think it's important for two reasons. One is to actually get, in a sense, almost like advertising. Like, look, there's this yeah. volunteer group that if you're right. interested, mm -hmm. you can partner. And we, we partner with them, and we'd like you to partner with continually to work on other projects. So, That's and great. I think the thing is, is that Northampton. Pipeline to Tree Northampton. Right, well, Northampton yeah. DPW and uh, Northampton Public Safety oh, yeah. Commission of Water Pruning from the trees for the first year after which and so and in reality it's not the commission really does that the commission does some of the work some members of the commission but the commission mm -hmm. as a whole it's really tree so in tree northampton right yeah. yeah in partnership i think that's kind of the key word in partnership um, mm -hmm. so in that second italicized mm -hmm. paragraph the northampton dpw and tree northampton yeah, i think it should be i think it also should be consistent so in the very beginning it should say <laughs> City of Northampton Neighborhood Tree Planting Program. The city's tree warden and the Public Shade Tree Commission, uh, in partnership with Tree Northampton, encourages neighbors to organize themselves and submit applications for tree planting projects, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And just keep that consistency across um, the whole message. I know it's a little long, but. And then yeah, we can figure possibly out. when you're doing that last part, planning site details, <coughs> you can say, do you want help? Yeah. Along the way, you can ask three hundred people. Oh, because they oh, yeah. planning absolutely. Yeah, if you want help planning, like how you're gonna, what you're doing in your neighborhood. And that's what I was wondering. If you can, you know, if they're stumped by, I have to make a tree plan. Yeah, give them a resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. That that should go. I think that should go above the actual application. As a before you complete this, if you'd like support, yeah. well, couldn't that be right here in the. In yeah. intro? Yeah. Okay. What about these logistical questions like what is the deal about watering and pruning trees all after they're planted? I mean, all, all of that. It's least to have someone we can talk to. Other than Rick, I mean, obviously Dr. Rich, he has all the answers, but we don't really want them all to. No, I'm just asking what, what is the arrangement as far as who takes care of the trees for the first few years? Are setback trees, do you mean? Or is any, you mean any straight trees? These trees that are planted. Well, I think that's what's unique program. about this program is we're asking the neighborhood yeah. right. so to, we're, to, we're, to commit to that. Yeah, so we're actually kind of changing the model a little bit. Yeah. So what we're okay. now, what we're doing now is that I'm so working with Rob and we're going out in the field and actually uh, pruning trees and Rob has the Village Hill residents but he also has other members of Tree Northampton going around and pruning trees and Jay who was had a free time. So I think we're asking in this group to have this group actually partner with okay. Tree Northampton, tree us as a whole, mm -hmm. which means mm -hmm. everyone has oh, to stay right. including Tree Northampton to get your trees pruned for the next, you know, or yeah. water. Okay, to get to water. So we're not the first year. 
Yeah, so the first year you're not going to do any pruning, and maybe the second year you're not going to do any pruning, but they have to be watered and they have to be mulched on yeah. a yearly basis. Uh, and if we're asking them to develop and commit to a three-year, I think that we need to provide some kind of a sample plan. Right. Uh, I think that, that to ask them to develop, so, I think it's more like commit to a three Rich, we don't want them to ever actually prune the trees without it. So, well, and, that, and that's why, again, this is, we're asking them to, to work, you know, we will work with you to prune the trees, but we ask that you be a, Participant, Participate. you know, it's not just plant the tree and walk away. Right. It's yeah. like plant the tree and now you got to take care of it. And we're going to work with you to show you how to take care of it okay. for future generations. Right. So we can, we, can, we can work on this. Uh, I, I, I think I'm getting a sense of the partnership piece that has to happen. So I think the wording in here. Okay, it's, take this would be a way to take the load off the, it's not 10, 15 more trees. The, the city does not have to water. In the next several Correct. years. Correct. In, in theory. Right. Yeah, yeah, in theory. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was our theory in the beginning, yeah. and we yeah. found that yeah. Yeah. it's uh, it doesn't work. Because if the trees are on, you know, a row on some difficult street to yeah. navigate, mm -hmm. then yeah. they, the city will once again end up. Yeah. If, right. they're, if they're near little houses with those. And, and what about um, just in terms of how many volunteers are we requiring them to say they're going to have? I think that could be. Uh, uh, I don't know if, if, if requiring is is appropriate because we don't know how many trees they're proposing to plant. So it's more like how many volunteers will you bring to this project? Do you want to give them a guideline? Yeah, we so can, we can provide up to... So the criteria X. would be X amount of volunteers per tree. Huh. So if you have, you know, what average, right. we, have, we have three people, no, we usually have three people, we usually have two Three yeah. people planting a tree. We have someone from Tree Northampton or the commission, and then two volunteers working on the tree, planting it, and moving okay. to the next one. So, or moving so to So two per tree. tree, wouldn't you think that that's I think two volunteers, especially if right. we're gonna partner with them, yes. Okay. Oh, at least two volunteers. But if you're doing 10 trees, is two volunteers enough? Just two people from in the neighborhood? In the bullets. No, no it, it, it would be, so if you're wanting 10 trees, you have to provide 20 people. Oh, okay. Two so it would be, it would be like a, in the checkbox criteria, you know. All right. Yeah. Have, you know. Right. I think though, getting get twenty people might be hard all at once. Yeah. And, and, and being Tree Northampton volunteer, I, I think it's perfectly acceptable to just put it in volunteer hours because we can go back more than once. I mean, it can take all weekend. Right, but they need to know, like, well, what's involved in this commitment? You what's know, there? how many people do we have to get together so in order to, to do, do this? So to do ten is twenty volunteer hours. So again, hours. so again, so, hours? so again, if a neighborhood wanted to do this project and they didn't have, let's say they only have, they wanted to plant 10 trees and only have five people. So one of the things they have to do is they have to figure out how to get the rest of the volunteers. One way is to contact Trino yeah. Camp. Yeah. Or, or, so or, it's, 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 or, or for them to repeat, they can do it more than one day. Well, well, but if you, you want to do a single planting in one yeah. day, yeah. With you really do want to have stuff a like that. Yeah. You want to have yeah. a, an event. Yeah. That's what you're at. Okay, so each person, I mean, or each pair of people can only plant one tree. Is that how long it takes? Per hour. So, so but you can have, people, if you have people, people that are willing to work for five hours. Yeah, you're, you're good to go. Yes. So we should say people hours instead of people, People, right? yeah. Yeah, so, so at least per, per people, not person hours. At two, at least two person hours per tree. Yes. So okay. you have a minimum of trees here at 10, 10 minimum trees for them to fill out the application. Right. That was what Amherst had, I think. Uh -huh. Was was there a maximum that Amherst said? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, two, two, two people were going to volunteer a tree every hour each. Okay. So okay. if you have usually two people, two or three people plant three trees. Right. Your yeah. So that's just exactly. something. All right, we can let's let's um, refine this a little bit more and pick it up next time. Um, I know that you have to go. And um, is there anything burning that you need to tell Jen before she goes? You're next on that. No, we're hoping um, if you want to participate in Arbor Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can whatever we're doing. Yeah, we'll text both. Okay, yeah. great. I uh, I love the article in the paper, but um, Jen. I'll text you either way. Yeah. Your daughter's um, letter to the editor. To oh, yes. Good yeah. for her. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, and the title, sorry, the title. It's, uh, well, her name is Ava. Name? Ava Gerstle, G-E-R-S-T-L-E. And she wrote a letter to the editor in today's Gazette. She's one of the organizers of the March on Set. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Okay. Which, uh, yeah, gone. Oh. You might want to go to. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know I'll if I can say that on camera. Oh. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Noon. Is it noon? Yeah. That's okay. Right. Starting Fine. at the high school. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Sorry, we're going to be able to go rapid yeah. fire through the rest of this because I said the meeting would end at 5:30, and it's not. Well, well, so before we go on, um, do you want to set a date to meet the three of us? How about we do that after the meeting? Right after the meeting. Right. Okay. I um, have not been working as much as Rob with uh, lots of pruning in Village Hill and take it. Take I, mean, I do want to say about Village Hill, Rich has been there a lot. And I've been there some, and um, it looks fantastic mm -hmm. I mean, all right there are still some trees that aren't done but overall you just go there it's impressive wow how many trees got done. yeah we have a couple more three more dates we do we, i think I, I know two more dates maybe three more yep and then and, i think and, we'll, i think we'll be done and we have a problem with the elms that we haven't really figured out how to tackle because they're too big for the volunteers yep. to tackle oh. um so that's really great and i did get as I mentioned already, quite a bit of time from uh, Rich Paris, who's a steady volunteer now, and Alicia going over in very cold days over to Amherst Nursery and feeding through every single tree. We really looked just about every tree they had to, to find the trees that we that we wanted. I, I, I hope that they'll be good. Um, so those volunteers are really hard. Uh, and that's pretty much it, except that I do think overall, I haven't got a good analysis of it, but overall, I think Rich and the volunteers are catching up on the young tree training. I, I, uh, over over all of North, I mean, there are parts that aren't done, there are, whole, there are whole wards that aren't done, but some of the wards with the most trees are done. This is the pruning, the, fir the first year pruning? Yeah, so we did, we did uh, two, Ward 2. So all of Ward 2 has been done, except for the few trees that aren't done, as we mentioned, in Village Hill. But Ward 2 has a huge number of tree belts it's cut. And then we, so that's where the young trees tend to be, is in the tree belts, because that's where they go. Um, and then we've uh, started Ward or going down towards Prospect Street and over to King Street. So we're, we've almost reached King Street in, in that direction. Yep. And Rich, I think, is gonna help set up the possibility of pruning some of the trees in uh, downtown. Uh, there's some problems, there's Christmas lights on them. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the um, lights out to be taken off. So and, 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 uh, and, and once that's done, um, a lot of these trees will be trained methods good to see us catch up because even though it sounds like it's every two year or two it, 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 we've caught up to years of not we're catching up to years but not being fully done I mean the trees the village held more some of them were, it's been more than five years eight years they, they've never been done yeah. yeah they want to know about the landscapers so they don't hit themselves in the face yeah right. so we're really it, it's you know there's a lot of ash trees up there though which is unfortunate oh. and they did a lot of block a lot of black planting so they ashes. planted ash oh yeah yes mm. but that was in 2008 it was just early in yeah mm. and that's one of the species that's still on the list from the uh so we're getting rid of yeah i remember seeing that yes yeah. so that, that's pretty much it I have you had any luck on orchard street Shushan? i went to orchard street and measured the tree bell and it is big enough for trees and I, at this point given that i've actually had three different contacts trying to go into order you know, trying, and i've not been every door i'm ready to uh just say put trees in the tree belt oh my god that would be such a win for me yeah no i i, I agree with rob i think it would be i think in order for us to actually get that plant get all planted yeah. and get it all connected yeah north street get connected yeah uh and also connected in the cemetery i think that would be nice to plant in the tree belt plus right. there's no overhead obstructions right except right. for the house drop so we just have to maneuver the trees around that so it, it's roughly 12 trees maybe 13. great it, it, basically the tree the, the, the house lots are narrow enough you can't really get two trees 
So it ends up being a tree part of the town. It's kind of cool. simple, but. Great, and what about the trees on the other side of the fence in the Bridge Street Cemetery? Have you, have you uh, factored those in to your count? No. Uh, is that the Bridge Street side? Yes, no. Oh, that's 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 inside, inside the cemetery? Yeah, inside, inside the cemetery. Inside. No. I know outside the, the cemetery. All the way out. Yeah, outside the cemetery, actually, the tree belt gets wide there, although you have um, utility interference, yeah. but still, it's the widest part it is along the whole. But Planting you could plant tree. some huge trees right yeah, inside, inside the fence. What's the, I mean, do we just go, that's for, that's you know, a zone that's available. Who governs the cemetery. Yeah, the governance. <laughs> <laughs> so we can, we can go ahead and, and okay. Yeah, we, can actually, we can actually do, we can actually do two, you can actually look at it from a perspective of doing underwire trees in the front and large mature trees on the inside. Okay. So you could right. actually mix it up a little bit if we nice. have. All right. And do you remember out. that I am gifting the money for that? Remember that? So I don't know how we're working that. Do I just write a check to the city of Northampton? Or no, I think because we're, we're I not dealing now with setbacks anymore, so it doesn't. It's not relevant to I the. Think what, I think what we should do is we should. You should take the money to be truthful with you and buy the plant material. If if you buy if you buy plant material, then I can take the plant material from from you. All right. Because that's how the uh, I, I, up to twenty five thousand dollars. All right. And realistically, out. is it Rob that can do that? I mean, do you go there often enough? Okay. Then I'll 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 work with you to make that happen. Does a yes. gift have to go but in the general fund or no? No. Well, no. I'll, I'll find the trees, which will get the bill for it and. Well, no, 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 we can't I mean, do it that way. No, no I think they want to pay Lily, the Lily will pay the vendor. Right. Okay, so Correctly. I'll find the trees and the bill will go to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. You'll pay the bill and then the yeah. trees will go. It, can't, it just can't exceed right. whatever. And it's then like you will just gift, you will just, in an email, say I have these 12 trees or whatever yeah. that I'm going to give to the city of Okay. Thank you very Sounds much. Good. That's it. All right. All right, so you and I will connect Pretty about simple. that. <laughs> Right. Um, what kind of, so what kind of, what, we can talk about that. What kind of trees I don't remember how long the strip that is. It's long, but we, we, can, we can figure it out so we can actually get some more trees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all Any other business not anticipated by the chair? To-do list. Should we go around talking about what we need to do? Oh, let me ask like a quick question about the, the to-do list. Um, so I used to keep track and then put it on a Google spreadsheet. Are we all now putting our own stuff on the Google spreadsheet? I don't think we are, actually. No, Terry important. then uses that for the um, Oh, yeah, the for the notes. minutes. I'm not. Well, I do this fast time. I just listen to the. You just listen to what people said when they went around the circle? Yeah. So. Um, I just said, no, if you want to I, I like having it in a central location. Um, so, so going forward, I could listen to what everybody says, right. jot it down, add it to the spreadsheet, and then Terry can do that? Yes. Okay. That sounds good. I like this new so method, though, of everybody naming. Yeah, it yeah. just feels a little more buying ish. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Sue, you don't need to, you're not on the house. Yeah. Seat. But Marilyn, do you want to uh, say a yes. piece? Okay, so I am going to email Rich. And Lily, I copied you and Terry on the revised letter. I actually already revised it, so I'll, I'll send that, as well as the landscaper list. <clears throat> so that can go out for Arbor Day. And I'm also gonna work with Molly and Lily on revising this application for the community planting program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rich? Um, so, I'm going to work with Marilyn. No, the letter for the landscapers. Who's, who's going to actually finish the draft? Marilyn. Yep. And then you're going to email Seven me two. and we're going to okay, work yep. together and get the right flyers to put in there. And then I'm going to get it to the mayor's office for his comments. Um, going to work with Rob and Sue on the uh, upcoming planting dates for, I guess it would probably be, look like May. Community, yeah. planting. Community planting things in May, yeah. right? May is good. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, uh, tomorrow I'm going to go get uh, some kind of a plan for the front of the Daily Hampshire Gazette, and I'm going to contact uh, Jen and Rob and work on that. Uh, 
I also have to contact Amy Kaylin to remind her to get the lights taken down on the trees on Main Street. I'm sure there's probably something else I'm forgetting to do. Planting time to, to cool it down. Yes. The one that I nag you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's something that Jen and I have to work on as well. So, and if, uh, do you want to send him an email? To say what? Uh, no, just tell him to work on it. We haven't forgotten. Yeah, basically, okay. yeah, we're kind of, kind of just. just Okay. All right, but I'm not going to do that much longer, you. Hey, 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 no. <laughs> so, Richard, you you <laughs> you hey, I ordered all those, hey, <laughs> I ordered all those small storms and you forgot the adjustment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are great. It's true. It's true. I have no nice. reason to criticize. So, Rich, you'll have that pretty soon. We'll go over to do that pretty soon because you'll have oh, right. yeah, Thank that. Oh, right. Thank you. I want to make sure that Thank we can get yes. Jen with us. Although, yeah, we yeah. lost Jen. If, if you want. All right. Um, but, yes. Yeah. I'll help. Or you can see you know, I'll be flexible to make sure that I can do it. All right. Anything else, Rich? Uh, no. Rob? You know, my one assignment is to work with Sue and Rich to make sure that we have our May dates for community, uh, not community, but planting along major roadways. Right, right. Um, and since Rob, uh, we are seeing the Orchard Street planting is our our pilot neighborhood planting this year. So, do you feel like there are neighbors that we can work with to do this? So, um, you know, I didn't I didn't get a, a huge positive outpouring from Orchard Street itself. That's why I moved from Street. <laughs> <laughs> but but, uh, but I, 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 I do. <laughs> hope that um, some of the neighboring streets, like Orchard Street, they did already one of these two. Lincoln. 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 We could Lincoln. get Lincoln Street involved. Yeah. We did shape. Lincoln Street. We planted 12 trees. It was great. Okay. Um, Lincoln spread Street. Spread a little love kind of thing. Huh? They can spread a little love. Actually, they, they came out to plant three trees. Uh, on, like the same folks came out to plant three trees on Elizabeth Street. Okay. And they did that. Remember, they, they seem to like to they, those, were, those were Lincoln Street people also. Now one has a company. Should he be on the list? Oh, yeah. Well, Dumpy? I would, I, huh? Dumpy? Tree Cycle. Double. Oh, Tree Cycle? Tree Cycle. Tree Cycle. Cycle. Oh, right. They're on the list. They oh, are. I'm sorry. Are they? Never mind. No, they live on, on they're from They live on, on Lincoln. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we should yes. definitely rope him in. Oh, they're great. Well, I they are think. roped in. They, 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 they helped on, they did Lincoln, they've done Elizabeth, and hopefully, uh -huh. I'm just, they'll do something on. Oh. I'm watching. Okay. I don't see Well, I would like to reach out to Sluice Nest yeah, because they're cycle. the ones that gave that initial fund of uh, yeah. set of money. Um, I just want to at least loop them in. Yeah. That when? almost 15 years later, <laughs> we're finally putting trees on Orchard Street. Yeah. Uh, um, so and <laughs> since I, I know two neighbors from from having lived there, obviously Shoshana is one, and then another is Naomi Shulman. She lives on the corner of Elizabeth and Bridge, and I, I'm happy to reach out to them yeah. and say. Yeah, go ahead. I, I did email each other like a month ago. Didn't Nothing. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, All right. I, I, just, I have to say generally, I know you're, you're going to the Gazette, you're going to Cooley, and you're talking to Shoshana. Most of what I get back is like, people aren't. I, I get a lot of not, not no. A lot of That's, rejection. A lot, you have to have a lot of rejection. Ten, ten no's for every yes. <laughs> yes. It's a sale. yes. That's the ratio. You have a huge number of rejections. Yeah. Even when you're offering something like, hell, put a free tree in your yard for free that you I want. Know. People are just busy. They're like, I want the tree, but I, I'm I, I, overwhelmed. Yeah, so well. Yeah, okay. So, so that's your task. We are going around the circle, Molly. Yes, my task is to work with you and Marilyn on finishing the draft of the neighborhood tree planting application. Okay. Um, so right after we close this meeting, you and I, the three of us will come yep. up with a date. I have, I am going to um, email Gwen Agna to reschedule um, a, our meeting with her. I'm going to email the Gazette um, about the planting. I am see, working with Molly and Marilyn on the um, community planting plan, neighborhood thing. Um, I'm going to put for next week because we didn't get to it on the agenda. City t discussing a city council presentation. I'm going to email John Lombardi and um, and soften things. <laughs> and. <coughs> Boilerplate. 
Oh, and I'm also going to send a do a boilerplate. Yes, 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 a boilerplate. Oh, yeah. The agenda. Oh, and when you contact people on Orchard Street, you'll be able to send the name and email. Yeah. Um, Orchard Street. Uh, Orchard Street. And, yes, um, connect to Tree North Tree Northampton address. Okay. Yeah, the Tree Northampton at gmail.com. Alicia okay. and I both check it. Uh -huh. So there's. And then okay. if there's something there, you know, we'll email back and forth before we answer. Uh, I am going to put out a doodle poll for all three commissioners about when they can meet because mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to figure something else out. Mm -hmm. For Jay. That's about it. Okay. Well, Jay's available at 5. Yeah, she, he's available at 5. That's starting to get late for you, isn't it? I mean, this is someone who gets up at 4 in the morning. It is what it is. Oh. Well, what if Jay got here at five and we just you could, Short, did any votes that we needed to between Today five and six? I don't know. I, 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 I think it's pretty important that we find a time when all yeah. the commissioners can be there. So I'm not crazy about that idea. I mean, if it's a temporary thing like what, what happened with Molly, I can work with that. But but something permanent that feels like he's going to really slip from. Yeah. It. He's not available until five all days, Monday through Friday. Actually, I'm not sure. Not sure. Mm -hmm. that, that, that it's mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. if, that, if that's the case, then we're, I, we'll probably stick in with Wednesdays. And maybe we could split the difference and have a meeting at 4.30 or something like that. Where so he can at least get the tail. The, the he can get three quarters. three quarters of it. Yeah. yeah. He's coming from Pittsfield, so. Oh, yeah. uh, another thing I need to put on the agenda is we didn't do our elections in January, did we? So we need to do elections. Well, our meetings have been off so far this year. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The um, so agenda is um, <laughs> elections. There's something else. Lily do, Lily, do not lose that piece of paper you're writing. On. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make a copy of it before you leave a couple of them? Everything will stay. It's, it's going to be on the Google Doc momentarily. Yeah, but. Okay, motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. Somebody has to go first. So you, you can say someone has to say motion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Motion to. Yep, yeah, right. I have a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>